station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Shaniqua Vereen. On Tuesday, March 15th, NASA astronauts Kayla Barron and Rasha Chari will venture outside the orbiting outpost to perform IROSA 3A power channel preparations. IROSA or ISS rollout solar array upgrades have been ongoing since 2020. Barron and Chari will install the modification kit in preparation for the new solar array. The International Space Station has eight power channels, each fed with electrical power generated from one solar array wing, extending from the station's truss backbone. The original solar panels launched on four space shuttle missions from 2000 to 2009. As expected, the solar panel efficiency has degraded over time. NASA is upgrading the space station's power system with the new rollout solar arrays, which will partially cover six of the station's eight original solar panels. When all six IROSA units are deployed on the station, the power system will be capable of generating 215 kilowatts of electricity. Back inside the station this week, the science continued with cameras that could save your crops. Imagine if farmers could get advance warnings of water stress in their crops, alerting them to changes in crop health days to weeks before they become visible. They would be able to head off those issues and decrease chances of crop losses. A new experiment heading outside the space station aims to do just that. NASA flight engineer Kayla Barron installed the Long Wave Infrared Sensing Demonstrator, or LISAR, on the NanoRack's external platform this week. The CUBE satellite will reside on the exposed facility of the Japanese experiment module for several months. It will test a thermal infrared sensor for taking precise measurements of Earth's surface temperature and monitor water resources. This testing is a first step on the path to launching constellations of small satellites that could take measurements around the entire globe every day. This knowledge could help farmers achieve more yield and better quality crops. That's Space to Ground. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.